you from Las Vegas. It's January 4th, 2014. And I want to talk to you today about three things that you can do right now to grow your network or to build out your network. But before I do, I want to ask you a question. What do these five things have in common? Number one, a high rise. Number two, a highway or a freeway. Number three, a commercial shopping mall. Number four, an airplane. And number five, your network marketing business. What do those five things have in common? Well, they all represent conduits for creating revenue and adding value. Think about it. An airplane, once there are people in those seats and that airplane is flying, it represents a revenue stream to that airline. A high rise, once that space is leased or sold, uh, that represents a revenue stream. Uh, a, 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 a shopping mall, same thing. Once the stores are built out and there's customers in the stores and they're buying product out of those stores, uh, that creates a revenue stream or volume for those stores and for that shopping mall. Well, your network marketing business is the same thing. The only difference is we build out that asset using people. We build out that asset with through our network. And, and one of the things that I love about network marketing is, is, is that we don't have to put out millions of dollars to get that asset in place versus all the other examples I gave you. It costs millions and millions of dollars up front. Investors, people who finance those projects before they ever receive a single penny. And it takes years. It takes years to build out those assets. It takes years to build out, to plan and, and build out a shopping mall or a commercial high rise or a highway or a freeway until that highway or freeway is built. And, and people are actually driving on it. It takes years before that freeway ever produces any kind of value or any kind of benefit. And it's, it's paid for it by, through tax dollars up front in advance. You get to start your network marketing business and build it out over time to produce an, a, a value that can be equivalent to the value of some of the other assets that I've mentioned. Now, what are the, some things that you can do? Because we, we build that asset out through people. So what are some things that we can do or that we, that we can do to, to begin to build that asset or build that network or that conduit for a revenue stream? In our revenue stream or our, in, our, in our conduit, the revenue stream is created as a result of people who get customers, who use our, who buy our products and services. That creates a revenue stream and we get a commission on that. So let's talk about three things that you can do right now to begin to build out your network without investing a substantial amount of money up front and having to wait before you ever receive a penny. We get to make money now. Isn't that awesome? So number one, be generous. What does that mean? Look for opportunities to give. I, I have a, a, a friend, a couple that live down in Texas and every time they see you, you don't see them very often, but when you do see them, they have a little gift for you. Think about the power of that because every time they do that, I know they were thinking of me. It was just a little bit of a consideration. And, I, and it makes me feel special and important. And they do that with everyone they know. So think about little things that you can do for people that will let them know that you care about them. That's number one. That's making a deposit in your social bank account. Number two, uh, stay in touch. You know, uh, I, I, uh, I sponsored a guy into my business a, a number of years ago and uh, I was getting ready to take a trip. And I wanted to give him something to do while I was gone. And so I said that would be valuable to him building his business or getting his business started. And I said to him, what I want you to do, Ray, is I want you to make a list of 100 people that know you. And I just want you to call them on the phone and just say, hey, uh, I was thinking about you. I just wanted to say hi and see how you were doing. And he said to me, that just sounds kind of weird. And I thought to myself, wow, I've been doing that for 25 years, two to five people a day, just checking in. I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing and say hi. So when you do that every day, you know, three to five people a day, if they don't pick up, just leave a voicemail. They know you're thinking about them. You know, they know you care about them, not just because you want to get something from them, because you truly care about them. I keep a little notepad on the seat of my car and every time somebody pops into my mind, I write their name down and I make a quick call and just say, hey, how you doing? I've been thinking about you. Again, making deposits into your social bank account, that helps to build out your network which ultimately helps to establish your conduit over time. And the last thing is become a connector. I believe that we are, we are, we come, we as a connect, as connectors, we become catalysts for bringing people together. What I found is that two people together are more valuable than one by themselves. And five people together are exponentially more valuable 
because we come up with ideas, we create. So I look for opportunities to bring people together to allow them to connect with each other because that establishes a higher level of value to them as individuals, which ultimately increases my value. And that increases the value of your network. So those are just three things that you can do right now. Number one is, is uh, be generous. Uh, number two is stay in touch with people just to check in with no agenda. And number three, become a connector. My name is Jordan Adler and we'll see you on the beach. Thank you.